Quality of service, this is, a, this is a new thing and it's a new feature in clustered ONTAP 8.2. It's the ability to actually guarantee performance to your workloads by limiting the amount of IOPS or raw throughput in terms of megabits or gigabits per second uh, in a couple of different ways. You can do it at a file level, at a LUN level, at a, at a volume level, or even at a storage virtual machine level. Uh, it's a pretty cool feature. It's something we're pretty excited about. Some of the things we've been doing is we've actually been incorporating it into a disaster recovery plan like Site Recovery Manager. Gives you the ability to actually add a custom callout script um, and, and proactively assign this QoS policy if you know for a fact when you fail your machine over that there's going to be some performance issues, you can proactively assign this so you can guarantee that the machines that are already in this site have the quality of service that they need. Everybody knows what VMware is and what a virtual machine is. You know, they've been virtualizing resources for a really long time. Uh, this is something that a lot of storage vendors are doing now. We do this with a virtual storage appliance. It's the ability to, to extend the benefits of your existing storage to like a remote office that might not be large enough to, to qualify for a larger controller. So you can actually install your ONTAP, your data ONTAP into a virtual machine and that virtual machine will actually leverage direct attached storage and then be able to, apply, um, to provide storage and efficiency like flex clones, snap volumes, snap mirrors, et cetera. The ability to provide these services to your smaller offices, but also extending the benefits to your office at the same time as bringing the protection of your remote offices back to the data center where it belongs. Everybody's talking about software-defined data centers, and, and, and there are three main tenants for any software-defined data center. There's the ability to be deployed as a service with IT governance and policy. There's the ability to actually um, uh, deploy on any hardware platform of your choice. And lastly is the ability to have self-service to your customers, the ability to actually provision based on service level. So what we use is on-command workflow automation, and we're able, it's an open programmable set of APIs that we can actually build with, and you can build as well with your own PowerShell scripting, and then you can provision these and send them to your customers or to your consumers. Simple tasks that you might do in a, in a, com a command line interface or in on, inside of on-command system agile, like provisioning a volume. You know, we do some cool things with that, like here at VMworld, we've incorporated workflow automation with vCenter Orchestrator. We take these two tools together, so if you want to see one of our labs uh, and someone else is using it, we can just simply make a complete zero capacity flex clone uh, using workflow automation, incorporation with vCenter Orchestrator, and people can see multiple um, environments at the same time. It's really cool.